Good morning from the Pink Eye Gallery in Bangsa. Um, my name is Arthur F. And these are a couple of short videos to try and give you an, a little explanation into what this series is all about. The Legends of Malacca. The one behind me is the deception of the Grand Master. There's a very quick story into 600 years ago, there was a Grand Master of Malacca, had a great number of students. One of them was superb, excellent in every way. But this young man decided one day that he would usurp the power of the Grand Master and use his power in a negative way towards the population. Upon hearing about this, the Grand Master took it upon himself, or herself in this case, to go after the young student and finding him sat upon a rock, she decided to take a sword and swipe it through the rock, allowing for the student to fall inside that was later eaten. The rock closed and the young master was never seen again. When devising the composition for this actual picture, I used a female as the protagonist. The reason for doing that was it gave a better story and understanding into what history proclaims to be true. The legends of Malacca start off with this foreground. This foreground is supposed to differentiate between who we are <clears throat> and what we can read within the narrative. If the painting had been flat, just a normal painting, then we'd have been absorbed into something that the past 600 years ago. Devising this way was the only way that I could allow for somebody to have a look inside the actual picture. Because we cannot go back in history, apparently not yet. The idea was to create a composition uh, that flowed, it was more cinematographic to actually being just, um, just normal portraiture of a sequence of affairs. And the idea is to have a very powerful protagonist in each one of them. Now the idea, as you can see on the handle of the sword, is actually taken from Chinese opera. And this symbol, symbolic hand gesture, is a gesture of sorrow. And that sorrow comes from the fact that the Grand Master idolized her, his student. And yet having usurped his power, had decided to take his life for what he could have become would have been darker than what was expected of a very new grandmaster. 